um, interfering with the with the with the with the current uh, lead, leadership as mandated by the people of Kiambu. Mm. I'm sure you've seen some meetings that have been happening yes. outside Kiambu, allegedly for Kiambu. So we've seen some leaders selectively picked for some meetings to discuss Kiambu. <clears throat> and obviously those meetings are not geared to uniting us, are geared to scattering us. Mm. So when I'm not invited for such a meeting, when my governor is not invited for, a, for such a meeting, when another member of parliament is not invited for such a meeting, what do you expect? Oh, it's not that you skipped, you are No, not no, invited. no, I'm never invited. No. I'm never informed. I just see as you see. Mm. Like the previous meeting that was done last week. Yeah. I mean, I think it was this week. This week, yeah, just a few days I, ago. I saw it on social media. Uh-huh. Yeah. My governor also saw it on social media because I asked him yesterday, I was with him uh-huh. in my constituents. Uh-huh. And he told me he also saw it in social media. And we've been even seeing outright, outright con- uh, 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 content of Kiambu leadership. Mm. You know, when our majority leader, who is supposed to be the united fa- uniting factor in, 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 in Kiambu, mm-hmm. stands up on top of his ca- uh, roof of the car and, and, and speaks very arrogantly about other leaders. Mm. You know, disregarding my governor, disregarding me as a woman leader, mm-hmm. disregarding MCAs and the majority leader of the county assembly, it's, con- it's, it's 100% contentious. Mm-hmm. I mean, it is, it is so ha- difficult for us to work together when that person we support, we supported to be our leader is actually the, uh, the, the, the source of uh, conflict. Mm-hmm. Castigating everybody and and branding everybody and and arrogantly dealing with people like they are not leaders. Mm. So I actually, personally, I am regretting why we have a majority leader of the National Assembly of Kenya mm. from Kiambu. Mm. Because instead of that majority leader, making us proud as the county that has a majority leader of the Kenyan, Kenyan government, mm-hmm. Kenyan parliament, we are actually suffering because of him. What are the suffering? I mean, who is the suffering? We are suffering from? because... Mm-hmm. My governor is constantly the punching bag. I am not fighting for my governor. I know my governor has weaknesses like I do. But there comes a time when leaders realize we have a problem here. We decide to provide leadership into that problem so that we can assist that person to overcome his weaknesses for progressiveness of a county. We understand our governor governor has had his own political style of leadership. And we all cannot behave the same. The way I lead is not the way the other person leads. So if you feel like his style is not going well with what you expect, I think the best thing for us as leaders is to look for the governor, look for the leadership of the county. For example, we have clergy, we have Waze Wamta, we have uh, uh, you know, men of wisdom, people emeritus, bishops, emeritus, uh, 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 governors of you know various counties yeah. where we can bring these people together and talk peace mm. but unfortunately there seems to be external forces that are also happy when when Kiambu is fighting mm. and I know why Kiambu is fighting it is because there are people who have special interest in Kiambu the proximity of Kiambu County to Nairobi makes our land very 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 valuable and there are people who have, have been struggling to steal our land in the disguise guise of national government affordable housing program. Mm. And you cannot come and purport to be doing houses in Kiambu and you're not involved in the governor. Mm. You cannot come and purport to be doing houses in my constituency and you're not involving me and my MCA. So we have that kind of a, a pause that because some people have proximi- proximity to the presidential power, proximity to the deputy presidential power, Mm -hmm. they can now use that opportunity to come and bulldoze others. Mm. And I think for me, this is too much. Mm. And I think as a leader, and because I'm not a fresh leader, I've been in this county in the past. I know what we have done in the past, being started from where we are being started uh, from now. Mm -hmm. And I think if we go that direction, Kiambu will never move. Mm. We chased out a governor last uh, election. In the same same ways, we got pressure from some quarters, we chased out a governor. Of course, he had his own weaknesses, like I'm saying. Mm-hmm. He had his own flaws. But I don't think we gained by chasing out a governor. Mm-hmm. Actually, we retrogressed. So much so. And I want to tell you why we retrogressed. I'm curious about that. Last election term, 
that is 2017 to 2022. Kiambu County was one of the counties that was, was identified to receive some support from donors. Support in construction of hospitals that were being front, fronted and fear, uh, spearheaded by Her Excellency Margaret, uh, Margaret Kenyatta. Okay. You remember the Beyond Zero campaign? Yeah. She got some serious funding to come up with serious hospitals where safe maternity wards would be constructed. My constituency, Gidunguri, was one of the recipients of that funding. And therefore, we started a Gidunguri Level 5 hospital, funded, fully funded by the donors. Mm -hmm. When we chased out the governor, the former governor, the donors withdrew the money. And the government of Kenya had to come in. We fought tirelessly here in this county mm -hmm. until the governor who came after the one we chased out was not able to finish that hospital. Mm -hmm. His Excellency the President Uhuru Kenyatta mm -hmm. had to appoint the military to come and finish that hospital. Mm -hmm. You can see how costly local politics can be. Mm -hmm. Fine, Uhuru sent the military, they did the hospital. Now the hospital is completed. Where is the equipment? Right now, we are supposed to unite all the leaders, mm -hmm. go to the President, go to the Minister of Health, and pitch together to get equipment and have that hospital operationalized. Mm. What is happening? We are fighting. Nobody listens to the other. Nobody is talking the same language. 